who was Christopher Columbus? Christopher Columbus was the first European to establish permanent contact between Europe and America. He was born in the busy seaport town of Genoa, Italy in 1451 to his mother, uh, his wife, Dominica Colombo, and his wife, Susanna. As a boy, Christopher Columbus listened to tales of adventures, and he probably just went on a fishing trip around the coast. Later on, whilst working on one of five ships in the Mediterranean, he was attacked and sunk, they were attacked and sunk by French pirates. He then managed to cling to a log and reach the shores safely. In 1476, he then decided to join his brother Bartholomew in Lisbon, Portugal, which was the capital of learning and exploration in that Renaissance period. He then went on to marry Donna Felipe, whose father was one of the first people to have a sugar plantation in the Canary Islands. She then died in 1483. Um, Feeling uh, dejected, down, depressed, he then continued on with his dream to, reaching, to reach the east by sailing west. Um, he then petitioned Queen Isabella of Spain countless times until finally she caved in and uh, gave him what he wanted. However, no one would make the journey with him because um, the world in that period was basically flat and no one wanted to fall off the edge of the world. So the only people readily, the readily, uh, readily agreed to do it was the people serving time in prison. And in prison in those days, he probably was eaten once every two days. So <laughs> it was a place of uh, adventure, freedom, promises of richness, you know, tripping over gold in the new, in the east, over spices. So um, he was outfitted with three ships, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, which was the the Santa Maria, which was the, his flagship. So they then sailed west, hoping to, find, to go eastward. However, they arrived at the New World, coming in fact to the Caribbean, the Hispaniola, Hispaniola, which turned out, which is today Haiti and the Santo Domingo. Now, Christopher Columbus, in all of this uh, adventure seeking, forgot the main thing. He did not negotiate a successful contract. Uh, Queen Isabella and him was supposed to verbally agreed on 10%, but they did not, she did not, Queen Is Isabella being smart, did not include that in, 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 the, in the final signing of the contract. So Christopher Columbus, had he done, had, had she included that clause in the contract, would have, his family today would have been one of the wealthiest families on earth, probably would have been uh, as wealthy as England. Of, or maybe England, France, and Germany combined. But um, she, 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 she tricked him. So Christopher Columbus, in all this glory and adventure, ended up dying a pauper. So what is the purpose of all this adventure and traveling and, and, and conquests? And, and if it's the end in, in, such, a, in such a miserable and, and dejected fashion, I think... Um, the only thing he had in the end was memories of a beautiful, clear blue waters and 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 uh, tropical fruits and and stories. And um, and that's about the the drift of Christopher Columbus. So I don't see anything really special in this day, because the main reason is um, how could you discover something that people had already had already inhabited, you know? So thank you for listening and happy happy Columbus Day. Ha, ha, ha.